Yeah, I, I thought we were uh, gap sound. I thought we were physical, uh, controlled the line of scrimmage. Thought we tackled well in space early in the, in the ball game. Um, you know, I thought our linebackers did a tremendous job of having their eyes on the keys and, and fitting their gaps too. And, and you know, you had all three levels playing together, and you know, then we were able to put some pressure on the quarterback early in the ball game as well. Um, you know, a huge uh, fumble by. Uh, I think Eric Gilliard there early in the ball game, and you know they did a great job of creating some short fields there early in the football game. Offensively, took advantage of them, and um, you know it was just a good start to the football game. Yeah, um, told the guys enjoy this one, man. Um, tonight, every time you step out there, don't don't take any of them for granted. You guys have heard me say that before, um, and uh, so enjoy this tonight. We'll come back tomorrow and, and look at the tape, and, and there's plenty of things that, that we can be better at, uh, more efficient uh, in the passing game at times, protection, um, some of our run schemes uh, being a little bit better, and, and uh, you know, and then you know some things on, on defensively that we can still improve upon too. But uh, really a strong effort by them, and and. Uh, um, you know, really all three phases of the game for a majority of the football game. Obviously, the end of the ball game would like to be a little bit cleaner when we have our young players in there. Um, and uh, But it was a good opportunity for them to get an opportunity to play some football, too. Hi, Coach. Uh, I would like to know a little bit about your, you know, the defense tonight, especially on the, those first two drives, for example. Yeah. Your senior and Peter Batum. Yeah. Like those first two drives. Yeah, I, I I thought we were relentless with our effort all night long up front. Um, you know, we rotated and, and played a bunch of guys. Um, you know, we've had some young guys that have gotten opportunities the last two couple of weeks here that have made plays when they've gotten an opportunity to be in there. They've been disruptive. Um, I, I thought our linebackers, again, did a great job of tackling in space all night long. Um, you know, they fit their gaps. I thought, you know, our defensive line linebackers and then our safety rotation uh, and some of our fits, we did a great job of, of hatting it up. And obviously, uh, they were playing the more athletic of the quarterbacks there early in the football game. Some quarterback run, thought we handled it pretty well. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I think you look at um, defensively uh, how Temple has played uh, early in football games in particular. Um, you know, the score hasn't always been indicative. I, I said that uh, going into this football game. Um, I, I thought we did a good job early. We weren't consistent enough, uh, made some adjustments. Yeah. I'm not sure where I, where I cut off there, but uh, it's a football team that plays extremely hard. The score hasn't always been indicative of, of uh, really how the games have unfolded for them here. Uh, early in the football game, there's been some late scoring uh, that's kind of flipped the, the, the scoreboard a little bit more than, uh, than what the, uh, the course of play has really showed. Um, you know, for us tonight, there's things we can be a whole lot better at. Um, but again, um, every time we walk out there, it's about finding a way to, to, to win. And uh, uh, happy about this one. Uh, I think we came out relatively uh, uh, clean as far as injuries. And uh, obviously got a huge one next Saturday against a really good football team. Coach, obviously Temple likes to mix their coverages. They mix their fronts, three-man fronts, four-man fronts. But what did you see from them that kind of caused you guys some issues in the second quarter? With your offense? Uh, some of it's just execution. Um, you know, uh, we got a third down pass that's you know, open down the sideline. We don't uh, make the play, you know, a throw or a catch um, there that's got a chance to be a big play. Uh, got behind the chains with a, a holding penalty. Um, you know, so there's some, some things that uh, are simple things that, that we can be cleaner at um, and uh, allow us to, to stay ahead of the chains. You know, when, when it's going good, um, there's a lot of uh, execution that's taking place. And, and when it's not, you know, one guy might be off and you got to find a way to get 11 guys operating as one. Again, I thought we uh, did that as, uh, you know, we came out in the third quarter. Coach, what do you like about this team right now heading into Cincinnati? I like, I like the uh, the physicalness um, that they're bringing to the field. I like their energy, their competitive spirit. I like the way they're interacting with each other, and, and uh, there's a strong belief in the youthful energy. Uh, locker room was great tonight afterwards, and, and uh, 
you know, I, I think there's an appreciation for just getting the opportunity to play, play as hard as I possibly can, and and uh, enjoy the competitive arena. Yeah, a couple times he just got his eyes in the wrong pl wrong spot and and um, um, you know wasn't playing the right side of the football field uh, there in the second quarter. That's going to happen uh, from from time to time at that position. Uh, obviously, you don't want it to. Um, he's playing it at a pretty high level. I thought he did a good job of taking care of the football again tonight. Um, can't take any of that for granted. Um, you know, and then I, I thought he was decisive and and uh, um, you know got things going there in the third quarter and um, took advantage of some one on one situations. For somebody who only looks at the stat line, they may see that air quotes. The offense had less uh, numbers. Air, you know, air quotes on that. But uh, would that be? Would you say that that was more of the defense's dominance and setting up shorter fields and that sort of thing? Yeah, it's a. A really unique uh, way that the game kind of unfolded. You look at uh, how they were playing, kind of milking the clock from the first series, um, and then we got short fields. Um, you know, get behind the chains a couple of times in the in the second quarter there, and then create some big explosive plays in the third quarter. And then obviously, you know, end of the third quarter, uh, we got a few of the backups in trying to. Um, get some guys out and give some other guys some opportunities. And so you're in four-minute offense for an entire quarter. It's just a unique unique way the way the game unfolded. Coach, what can you specifically say about the contributions of your line, the young linebackers, Jeremiah and <coughs> Baptiste, uh, and Tatum with doing two weeks now? They really play well you know, when Eric Mitchell is obviously not here any longer. What can you say about what they've done? Yeah, I, I think they've uh, prepared in a great way, practiced in a great way. That's led them to play uh, really well when they've gotten um, this opportunity. And uh, I think they've got their eyes in the right place. They're playing physical. Uh, they're tackling extremely well when they get to the ball carrier. Uh, they've got a physical presence about them, and, and uh, their communication's been really solid, too. So uh, a lot of room for improvement still from those guys, too, right? They're young. Uh, they're only going to get better. Their best football's a long ways ahead of them, uh, but really do love the way that they're playing. Obviously, next week it is a different animal that you guys are going to be seeing. How do you take this performance tonight and see how that would stack up against the Cincinnati team? Uh, it's not about how it stacks up. And shoot, we get one football game, 60 minutes against uh, a really good football team next week here in the bounce house. So uh, you go back, uh, you learn from this one, and then you prepare and um, and get ready to go play. Josh, you talked about this uh, the last two weeks. You know, your younger guys on the defense were able to step up, especially in some adverse situations last week. This week, they step up again. What's it like seeing those freshmen and sophomores being able to handle situations right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah at the moment has been, hasn't been too big for them. Um, again, all those guys are, are young, but. Um, going to continue to get better, but they're playing at a really high level. Uh, got great energy and focus inside the building, preparation on the practice field. That's why they've come out and played the way they have. Uh, I think uh, all of our players on our, our football team on the defense side of the ball have great confidence in those guys. Thanks, Coach. Okay, guys, have a great night.